Hey you guys, this is March the 28th, 2019, and this is SP with another news nugget. Um, I have the an identified accuser in the R. Kelly case. This is talking about the R. Kelly case, so stay tuned for that nugget and hit that subscription button. <laughs> both sides and the one conclusion that I have come up with beyond a shadow of a doubt that when you look at all these situations all these situations everyone's dirty on both sides and that's what I was saying. everyone's dirty R. That's Kelly doing saying. dirty shit and the people that are accusing him are dirty themselves that's no one's I'm really saying. a victim and that's what song. I'm saying I'm saying that it's it's it's, it's truth and it's lies right. all together. Have you talked to anybody that that think highly of him? Lucy. Lucy does? Yeah. Lucy doesn't believe any of this shit. I done been in I done been in the rap game a minute, bro. I've been in hotels with several artists. Like niggas ain't taking pussy, man. Niggas gotta make pussy go away. Like, for real, niggas ain't taking pussy, dog. Like, all these women accusing people of taking pussy, it's hard for me to believe. Okay, you guys, this is one of the accusers that was unidentified in the R. Kelly suit. She is on TV today, um, giving her name, saying that she is the unidentified accuser of the R. Kelly case. Kelly's hair braider for about two years. Um, I was sexually abused by him, and I live after that. I try to pick up the pieces every day. Okay, so what I don't understand is you're there to braid hair, and you stayed for two years. If he was sexually assaulting you, you could have easily not returned. I mean, I don't understand if someone is sexually assaulting me on a job. I do not have to come back or I can tell someone. I know that um, people handle things differently. I was on a job before where my boss came to me and said, hey, let's go to lunch together. And I'm a married woman. And I said no. And, you know, and, 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 and he didn't like that I said no. I had some options there. I could have went and told the supervisor. Even though that he was a supervisor, I could have went and told another supervisor or I could have not showed up anymore or I could have went over his head. I mean, I'm not going to go to work knowing that if I'm supposed to be building something or braiding hair, I'm not there to for someone to touch me or kiss me or make me lay down. You're not going to make me do that. So for two years this happening, I don't understand that. I just don't understand it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that this didn't happen or it did happen. I understand there's a money factor in there. Your your family needs to be fed. The bills need to be paid. And I do know as a woman that we do think about these things before we make our decision. But we do have the decision to leave. If money is your priority and then you accept the money and you're saying, hey, you know, maybe your braiding wasn't that well or, you know, uh. A woman has to have some worth to herself to know if you're married or not even married. You just don't want to have sex with that person. You don't have sex with that person and you walk away from the job. That's it. The end. It's hard, but I know I'll get through it. This is a release. I've been carrying this since 2003. I haven't had to sit on a public bus and watch public conversation. Did you hear about what they did with R. Kelly? They need to leave that man alone. And I can't stand up for myself when I finally realized I don't want to be this victim. I don't want to be a part of this. Every time I tried to pick myself up again, I felt like something on the news brought me back to what I thought I swept under the rug. I say no more. You can talk about me. You cannot like what I'm saying about your favorite singer. But this is my life. This is my truth. 
this is what I have. Well, it seems like um, people are coming out now because of the Michael Avenatti being charged with extortion and lying and stealing. And if you don't know, Michael Avenatti was the top prosecutor that was on the R. Kelly case. And it's, it's bringing up questions. Did he try to extort money from R. Kelly? And if he goes to jail or he's looking at a lot of mischief stuff that he's doing, how, how is he going to put somebody on trial when he's facing trial himself? So, so you guys, um, this is what's going on in the news. So like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, share and click and leave a comment below. And always, I always tell you guys, be good to one another. Bye.